14 and a half minutes after the hour of 7 o'clock as we're joined now by Jehovah's Witnesses in Craig Jones, who's the public communications representative of Jehovah's Witnesses here. And my friend Robert Red Hendricks, who is a national spokesperson. Good morning to you, brothers. Good morning to you. Thank you, Pearson, for having us again. Good morning. We're welcome. There's so much going on in the world today. There's climate change. We hear our world leaders saying we're just a knock away from catastrophe. We're in the midst of a pandemic, and there, you know, people are just being bombarded. So everyone is a little bit scared, and we're asking that age-old question, is the world coming to an end? What do you guys say, Robert? <laughs> well, it is a good question, and I know that many people know of Jehovah's Witnesses talking about a better world to come. So when people uh, say Jehovah's Witnesses have been talking about the end of the world for the last century or so, um, in a sense that's true, but, it, but they, they may think we're talking about the end of a globe, the end of the earth, the end of mankind as we know it. Uh, but, but really what it means is we're moving into a new age, uh, that, that these, these end times are the end of one system and the beginning of another, not a cataclysm as, as many people think of Revelation being a, an apocalypse, but really being a time when we can look for hope. Um, you can compare it to looking at a new administration that's taking over, uh, and, and the promise of that administration under God, not, not one under man, who have continued to disappoint us, um, the, the, the promise is to make this worth a world exactly what what it was meant to be, a perfect earth, a perfect globe that would sustain perfect life forever in a paradise. Now, that's good news, and that's really what Christians have been praying for since Jesus taught us to pray for God's kingdom to come. Indeed, and so there's a lot of confusion though, because visually one cannot understand that transitioning, because we were taught over centuries it will all combust, and then maybe something else will happen. But you're saying that that is not quite our understanding because the Bible preaches something different, tells us something different. Very, very different. It, it, that is true. We, we have been um, taught that whether it's uh, scaring us, whether it's uh, uh, something that, that we've, we've gotten through entertainment and the movies and the apocalypse movies, <laughs> um, but, but really, what, 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 what God has is an earth that works. The earth restores itself. It's, it can sustain life. It was made perfect. Uh, and there's no reason that there needs to be an end to this globe. In fact, when you really think about it, it's, it's kind of like having a beautiful home, a mansion, that you decide uh, to, to rent out to somebody, lease out. And they, they just uh, take the mansion and, and they, they, they ruin it. They, they mark up its floors. They, 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 they don't clean it. Well, you don't burn down the house. <laughs> yeah. You take the tenant and you put the tenant out and you restore the home. And that's exactly what Jehovah is going to do for us. Restore this earth to the, to the very uh, place that it was when he, when he first made it. So all month long, this month of November in particular, there's a message, a movement, a campaign of hope, bringing hope to many people, reassuring that a better world is near. How is that, in the midst of everything going on around us, how is that campaign rolling out? And perhaps, Craig, you can tell us in the Barbados experience, how are Jehovah's Witnesses sharing the great news? And thank you very much, Pearson. Well, we're here in Barbados. We are having an absolutely wonderful time letting persons know about this campaign. And uh, we've been offering a special edition of our watch show entitled A Better World is Near. And we've been sharing this with our neighbors, our relatives, our workmates. Every single person that we come into contact with, we share it, and we're sharing it electronically. And of course, our website, www.jw.org, if you've not yet heard from one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you go on our website, you type in the keywords, A Better World, the magazine pops up, you can read it there, you can download it, you can share it with others. We're trying to make this powerful message, this message of good news and of hope, available to every single person in Barbados. It's right there for them. And it's right there on our screens as well. We get a sense of what's in that magazine as well. The better world, a better world is near. Robert, break it down for us because there are many sections as people browse and turn the pages and we can all learn from. And with everything here, it's all Bible-based. So what are some of the assurances that we can have once we go through this watchtower? Well, well first of all, when you think of uh, a, a Psalm, Psalm 37, 
it's a beautiful psalm for us in our day to just meditate on and, and read because in that psalm it really talks about the future it, it says that that we shouldn't get angry or hurt uh, over the fact that that many good people die too early many many wicked people uh, are prospering but that there'll be a time when you look for the wicked one or the lawless one and he will or she will be no more you will look for them and they're gone but the meek will inherit the earth and so but when we look at, uh, at what's to come, uh, you, you look at the, few, the past to understand what's in the future. And in the past, judgments of God, you, you recognize that in all of those judgments, it was always selective judgment. In other words, the righteous aren't going anywhere. They're going to stay right here on this earth. They're going to move right into this beautiful paradise uh, in, in a way that, that really will fulfill our dreams. So today, as we focus on that as we meditate on that it helps us to get through these very difficult times that we're facing right now one of the areas in the magazine asks how is friendship with god linked to survival and how do you respond to that question well when when we think about friendship with god it, it, there there is uh, we have to uh, be a friend of God for to have him as a friend in other words there's qualifications for that and and so this can help us right now and in the future so in two ways one right now living the way God wants his friends to live there's a morality that he wants us to live by there are there are ways that he wants us to live and it's not onerous it's for our own good so it helps us to live a better life right now but it also, friendship with God, when we know we're a friend of God, we know he'll remember us in the future. So we look to the future with, with hope and with faith uh, and with a resounding optimism. So we live a better life now and we know a better life is to come. You know, Craig, the convention recently held, one of the areas focused on was the story of Daniel. And I remember it well, I watched the video and I was moved by Daniel's experience, how as a young boy, his father, in his, his movement to being, having to go serve the king, the father shared with him some life-changing experiences, passed a scroll. And then later on, 70 years down, then did he realize what that relationship with God was to reveal to him, and how God kept him safe because of that relationship with him, with all the many challenges that he faced. How are you telling the story so that people get the message here that a better world is near? Well, that's a very good question, Pearson, and thanks for referring to that, that wonderful um, Bible-based drama with Daniel. And what we're doing is helping persons to see that, first of all, friendship with God is something that is real, it is possible. Uh, God is not some obscure entity that is difficult to reach or get to know. Actually, he wants persons to get to know him. And as we get to know him, it improves the quality of our lives right now. Jehovah's Witnesses, we're, we're ordinary people. And, and like everyone else, we've been having a challenging time with the pandemic. But yet, through friendship with God, it helps us to understand why things happen, why bad things happen to good people, and how we can make wise decisions now by following Bible principles. So we improve the quality of our lives now. And just as you refer to Daniel, how he went from a teenager right through mm -hmm. adulthood into his old age, but yet he had those guiding principles. Well, those principles are eternal. They're there in God's Word. And the more we get to learn about him, the more we understand his principles, the better our quality of life is now. And as we get older, we get even wiser and we're able to pass that on to our children if they're parents. And that's a wonderful thing that, that friendship with God does. It adds value to our life at all times. And we're sharing that message with persons. Yeah. His friendship and his relationship with Jehovah God ended beautifully. The promise he realized he was delivered that promise. I see Robert, your eyebrows just flicked. <laughs> Tell well, me yeah, what because it's <laughs> such a good example that you bring up because Daniel lived through a very difficult time. Remember, he was brought in as a slave in, in Babylon. Of course, uh, he ascended to a, to a position there, but, but he was separated from his family, brought into Babylon, a, a pagan place. That was the world power at the time. But it's a good example because, you know, world powers, governments come and go. And we see even in his lifetime, he saw the destruction of Jerusalem, but then also the, the overcoming of Babylon and the passing of the torch, if you will, to the Medes and the Persians, meaning that, that, that the administrations come and go. 
Righteous people remain. Not only do, do they remain physically, and, and we're hoping that will be the case for many of us going right into the new world, but, but even if they, they lose their life and they're in God's memory, they will be back. And so that's a hope that righteous people like Daniel have. In fact, uh, the, the angel said to Daniel right at the end of his book, he said to him, uh, you're going to go to sleep, but you will stand up again. Yes. And we look forward to someday seeing Daniel again right here on this earth and sharing all these incredible things that have happened since, since he died uh, with him. I could talk to you guys forever, <laughs> but I really can't today. But, but there's such hope, folks, that a better world is near. So walk us through Craig again here for us in Barbados, you know, how we can now access all of this rich information. Certainly, Pearson. So Jehovah's Witnesses will reach out to you. We will, we're going to call you. We may WhatsApp you if you're on our contact list. And we're going, to share, we're going to offer to share the publication with you virtually because we understand that people want to remain safe. But if you've not yet heard from Jehovah's Witnesses, you can visit our website, www.org. Type in the keywords in the search box, A Better World. And that special campaign issue is there for you. You can access it. You can share it with your family. And if you scroll a little further down, you will also see topics that can be of interest to you. So if there's anything else that you want to learn about family life, taking care of your children, teenagers, all the information that you wish that can make your life very, very enjoyable now, but give you that hope for the future, we make it available on our website. And of course, as you speak to Jehovah's Witnesses. Isn't that great news, Robert? It is great news indeed, and, and we're glad to share it. In fact, uh, it's all free. Uh, most of uh, most everybody knows that you can actually download JW Library on your um, device, whether it's a tablet or a, a, a phone, for free. And right there will be the latest issue of the Watchtower, uh, and it's just as easy as uh, it's just a click away. Indeed, I want to thank you so much, brothers, for joining me this morning, Craig. Jones was a public communications relations officer with the Jehovah's Witnesses Barbados. Robert Hendricks was an actual as well, gentlemen. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I, I'm glad because I'm smiling as you can tell. Just the hope and the knowledge that there is a better world and it's near and we can live on this better earth, this earth paradise as well is such a comfort to so many souls today. And we want to share it with everyone else everywhere as well. So thank you, gentlemen. Thank and, you, brothers. And thank you for what you do. We appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thank you, Pearson. You're very welcome. Morning Barbados continues right after this. Morning, morning, morning.